In the wrong hands, a chainsaw can be dangerous, even deadly. But once you get the hang of it, a chainsaw can be a handy tool to get work done. Whether you're felling timber, clearing brush, or trimming branches, just be sure to follow these basic safety tips. Take a good look at the task and make sure you've got the tools and skills to get it done. If you have any doubts, call in reinforcements. Check the wood for decay or cracks that could make it behave unpredictably or foreign objects such as nails that could catch in the chain. If you're downing a large tree, determine which direction it should fall. Always plan an escape route. Be extremely cautious when cutting limbs or logs under tension, as they may spring back or roll. Don't overreach or cut above shoulder height. Never operate a chainsaw while standing on a ladder. Consider using a pole saw or loppers instead. Always inspect your saw before beginning the job. Make sure the chain tension is properly adjusted and the chain is sharp. A dull chain is like a dull knife. Dangerous and more work for you and the saw. Wear the right protective gear, including cut-resistant chaps, sturdy boots, non-slip gloves, and a hard hat, ideally one with built-in ear and face protection. Think chaps are too much trouble? Watch what a chainsaw can do to these jeans. Now let's try the same thing, only this time with the right protective gear. I rest my case. Make sure no one is standing within 10 feet of the work area. If you're felling a tree, a safe distance is twice the tree height. Stop the saw immediately if anyone enters this space. If possible, keep another person within shouting distance. If you must work alone, keep a cell phone handy. Be extremely cautious when cutting around power lines or on uneven ground. Clear the area of tripping hazards. Refuel at least 10 feet away from your work site. Before starting, make sure the chain brake is in the on or locked position. Place the saw on a solid, flat surface in an open area. Push your right boot toe into the rear handle for stability. Grip the front handlebar firmly with your left hand and push down. Pull the starter handle with your right hand. Never attempt a drop start. You may think it looks cool, but it can be extremely dangerous. A few more things. Always hold the saw firmly with both hands when the engine is running. Stop the engine before putting the saw down. Engage the chain brake if you need to walk more than a few steps to change cutting positions. When transporting the saw, shut off the engine, replace the scabbard, and walk with the bar pointing backwards.
Kickback is one of the most common causes of serious chainsaw injuries. It happens when the moving chain at the tip of the bar contacts a solid object or gets pinched in the cut, flinging the saw up and back toward the operator. Similarly, the saw may be pushed back or pulled in suddenly when the chain is pinched, caught, or encounters a foreign object in the wood. Here's how to stay safe. Get a good grip on the saw. Wrap your left hand around the front handle with your thumb tucked underneath. Grab the rear handle with your right hand. Stand your ground. Place your left foot in front of the right for stability and keep your knees bent slightly. Hold the saw close to your body for balance and accuracy. Be aware of where the bar nose is at all times to avoid contact with the wood or other objects. Use extreme caution when re-entering a previous cut. Finally, take frequent breaks to stay rested and alert. Chainsaws can be scary. But follow these basic safety tips and you'll be ready for whatever comes your way. For more information, visit safe.com slash safety and health.